All right, so today what I want us to do is keep the flow moving with as little stops as possible. I want you to continuously breathe throughout your practice and let's see if we can keep up the pace. All right. I want you to go ahead, ground your heels into the mat, back is straight up, roll your shoulders back, gaze is forward, sweep your arms up. Reach to the sky, reach for the sky, you guys. Have that needle, have that thread pulling up from the head, arm straight up. I want you to go ahead and drop down to your feet when you fold. Fingertips touching the ground. Just like slight bend in your knee, straighten out that back. I want you to just sink into this pose. So go ahead and swoop your arms back up. And then drop back down. Swoop your arms back up. Drop your arms back down. Keep this moving on. What I'm going to do is three more times. Up. Down. That's one. Up. Down. That's two. Up. Down. That's three. Come up halfway. Gaze is forward, straighten out your back. Drop back down, spread your feet. Like you're about to get into your forward fold. And rest your chest down as far as possible. You can hang your head. You can take your arms behind your back. Stretch it on out. Whatever's comfortable for you. You can grab your ankles. You can shift back and forth. You guys are doing an awesome job. Go ahead and walk your feet together. Sweep your arms up overhead, stand. Arms by your side. Walk to the tops of your mat. Reach down to the floor. We're gonna get into our plank. You guys are doing awesome. Downward facing dog. Take that left leg, send it back behind you. Try to ground that right heel into the mat. Knee to chest. Take it back behind you. Ground that foot. I switch sides. Take that right foot behind you. Knee to chest. Take it back to the mat. Pedal it out. Doing a great job. Knees to the floor. I want you guys to get into your cow. Go ahead and arch your back. Gaze is forward. Tailbone sticking up. Go ahead and curve into your cat. Try to take a look at your navel. Really round out that back. Go ahead and shift into cow. Pick up the pace. Cat. Cow. Keep going. You guys are doing awesome. On your next cat, count down to three. So, one, two, three. Take your butt back to your feet, child's pose. Stretch it out. Go ahead and put your feet together, spread your knees. Reach your arms out in front of you. The groin area is always so tight to stretch. Another way, great way to stretch them out is frog pose. 
If you want to go ahead and get into fall pose, do so. It's all up to you. It makes you feel comfortable. Take three more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Walk your hands back towards you. Get to your tabletop. Go ahead and take that left foot up into the sky. Gaze is going to go forward. And see if you can take that right hand and reach it back to grab it. And pull up. Great job. Bring it back down. Switch sides. Bring that right leg up. Gaze is forward. See if you can take that left hand and reach it on back and pull up to the sky. Go ahead and lower back down slowly. And go ahead and rock side to side. Try to work out your hips. You can also do circles. If you're gonna do circles, make sure on your third circle that you go the opposite direction as well. You guys are doing great. Go ahead, when you center yourself, tuck your toes down. We're facing dog. Press through your palms. Tell us if you can dig your heels into the mat. Gaze goes in between the hands. Walk your feet up to the top of the mat with your hands. Fold and lift your arms up. Back down to your side. Come walk to the middle of your mat, shake it out a little. <laughs> All right. I want you guys to take your arms out to the side of the plane. Take that right hand. You're going to take it behind your head. Pop the hand. Goes on your back. For a little extra help, take that left hand. Turn it up. Go to your right elbow. And give it a nice little tug. Make sure that right hand is planted on your back. You're standing up straight. Nice breaths, you guys. Last breath and release. We're gonna do on the opposite side. So arms out like a plane. Turn your left hand up. Take it behind your back for a little extra help. Right palms to the sky. Take it on over to the left elbow and give it a nice little tug. You guys are doing great. Take a nice deep breath. Release. Give me two more breaths. Last one. All right, I want you guys to go ahead, bring your feet together, bend at the knees, go down to the ground. Open up your knees for me. See if you can get your heels to touch. Get your feet as close together as possible. And see if we can just stand up. Try to work on some balance here. Great job. Take a breath. Give me two more. One more. Take your hands out in front of you, touch the floor. What you want you to do is get into Malasana. So you can stand up, you can reach your feet on out. If the last is too hard, you can also get your block instead of underneath the tailbone. And you're just gonna bring your butt on down. You can rock a malasana. You can go ahead and take your elbows out to the side. Help stretch out those hip bones. Good job. You're doing awesome. Go 
ahead and take your butt to the ground. Legs out in front of you. Stretch. See if you can reach the bottom of your feet. Deep breath. Release. Give me two more breaths. Start to widen your feet a little. Keep breathing for me. After every third breath, widen your feet some more. If you need to untuck your tailbone, do so. a little bit more if you can if you can't that's perfectly fine stay where you are continuously breathe and try to straighten your back two more breaths well, what you do is take that right leg bring it in front of you bend at the knee you're going to wrap your hands around the top of your knee, sit up straight, see if you can pull yourself into your knee to help straighten your back. Flex your foot, your left foot, give me three breaths. One more, release. Take your right leg out, bring the left leg in, bend at the knee, draw your belly into your left leg. Try to sit up tall for me. Flex your right foot. Give me three breaths here. One more. Really show your legs in front of you, give a nice shake, flex your feet. What I want you to do is swoop your legs behind you. We're gonna get into a baby cobra. You guys are doing awesome. Gaze is forward. Make sure that your pelvic is down to the ground. Push into your arms. Release, face to the mat, forehead down, arms by your side. Take three breaths for me. Last one. Bend both legs at the knees. Reach your arms back. See if you can grab it. Or we can get into bow pose. Make sure that you're trying to lift your chest off the mat. Release slowly. Arms by your side, face down to the mat. Three breaths. Last one. Back into bow pose. Release, three breaths. Come up on tabletop. Take your right knee out in front of you, slug up. I want you guys to go ahead and get into pigeon pose. Keep that back straight for me. Try to see if you can square your hips. Just 
sink into it. Release your hips. We hold so much tension in our hips. Our hips and our shoulders. You can wiggle it out if you want to. I like to massage my muscles in certain positions. Go ahead and take your hands up to the sky. Straight up. Gaze forward. Just want to make this active. Bring your arms down and out in front of you. Relax over that right leg. Last breath. I want you guys to go ahead and switch sides. So swing that left leg in front and then swing the right leg behind you guys. Adjust yourself if need be. So this is actually my tighter side. I want you guys to go ahead and rub it on out. That doesn't sound right, I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead and massage the muscles. Guys are doing great. I didn't have a plan for this uh, this flow today. I just know I want to get out on the mat. And sometimes that's how it realistically is. Sometimes you don't plan on doing a sequence. Sometimes you just don't you don't plan to do yoga at all. But one thing that you want to do is at least roll out your mat and give yourself a chance and see what happens. Go ahead and reach your arms up to the sky. Come down, get your arms out in front, lay straight across that left leg, relax. One more breath. And what you do is come up. So you're gonna try to figure out how to describe this. So your, your right knee you're going to turn, face forward, lift it up, and then we're just going to meet the soles of our feet together into butterfly. If you want, you can flap your wings a little bit. <laughs> Not too much. Just a nice little flutter. Give a nice stretch in all the directions that need it. I like to lean forward, <clears throat> just wrap back and forth, come back up to a straight back. Center yourself for me, you guys. I want you to take your left hand, place it on your right knee. This right hand goes behind you, give a nice spinal twist. Two more breaths here. All right, we're gonna switch sides. Right hand, left knee, left hand to the back. I kind of have my wall stopping me, which kind of sucks. Two more breaths. Come to center for me. I want you guys to just sit here for a moment. If this is comfortable, you can stay in this position. If not, you can take a lotus, whatever is comfortable for you. I want you to meditate here for a moment. Think about your day. How did your day go? How did you wake up? Were you productive today? Did it snow? Because it snowed here. It was beautiful. I know a lot of people don't like snow. 
think it's messy and dangerous, which it totally can be. But also, I feel like it's really nice to look at from another point of view. I look at how pure it makes everything look. Everything is decked out in white. I think it's so gorgeous. What's something positive that happened today that just gives you a sense of comfort? No matter how big or how small. What gave you comfort today? Think to yourself, did I do anything for me today? feel like you've done nothing, you've brought yourself to the mat, that was a choice to take time out for yourself, go ahead and start swaying side to side for me, slowly, get a nice rocking, is this very moment in time, the one thing that you did for yourself today. Because if it is, congratulations. You are doing a fantastic job. You took time for yourself today. You took time to give yourself attention. You took time to do a nice little workout. Something your body needs in this cold weather. It's nice to stretch the muscles. Keep swaying side to side for me. Get into a nice, soft, slow rhythm. I feel like rocking is very good for the mental. It can help steady your breath. I use it all the time. Especially in any postures that may be a little uncomfortable, not to the point where it causes me pain, I never want to get there, but any time I'm in a posture and I feel like I need to work it out, I just tend to rock in it, give the muscles a nice little massage, help them slowly adjust to the position that you're in. Alright, if you're not in lotus pose, go ahead and cross your feet, get into lotus for me. Sit up tall and continue to sway. Deepen your sway, so you can come all to the side. See if you can feel that stretch going all to your side, from your, your hip to your underarms, deepen your sway. If you're feeling the nice side pull that you're giving yourself, you're doing this correctly. See if you can deepen it some more. See if you can take it all the way out to the side. Continue rocking. still breathing you should be <laughs> you're swaying like this you're not breathing I, I don't know what to tell you <laughs> I don't know how you're doing it <laughs> center for me stretch your legs out in front they might be a little stiff just shake them out wiggle your toes the body is meant to move. A lot of postures our body isn't used to getting into, so we have to make sure that we're trying to work all the muscles. Alright, what I want you guys to do for me is 
it's gonna be a little difficult. So I want I want us to try to get into whale pose. All right. So go ahead, turn around, and get into your bridge. I want us to start there. Slowly lower your back to the ground. Plant your feet. Your hands are gonna go down by your side. And I want you to push through the soles of your feet and lift up. Okay? If it's a little difficult, you can always put a block underneath. Push through, your, through the soles of your feet. Hold for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths. Last one. Slowly lower your butt down to the ground. Nice little small breaths. Take one more. Go ahead and lift through, lift through your pelvic and push through the soles of your feet. You're doing a great job. Three breaths here. Inhale. Keep pushing through your feet. Last breath. Lower your butt down to the mat. Now, for many of you who can get into wheel pose from your wheel pose, go ahead. Scoot your feet up as close as possible. Push your hands. Oof, sorry, hands in the way. Take your hands in the back of behind you. I'm not too sure if I can get into wheel pose like this, but I'm definitely gonna try. It's been a minute. I know a lot of you probably can. See if you can push. So this is as far as I can go. That's perfectly fine. We're all at different levels. Go ahead and lower slowly. Stretch your legs out. Stretch your arms above your head. Deep breath. And then let it go. Deep breath. Let it go. Last one. Deep breath. Let it go. Go ahead and bring your feet up to the top of the uh, Go ahead and raise your feet to the sky. I know sometimes I like to put a block right underneath of my tailbone just to kind of help with straightening up my spine. Go ahead and flex your feet a little. Can you flex? See if you can just feel your calf muscles activating. I like to feel my muscles move. Go ahead and take your knees into your chest. Give a nice hug. If you want, you can rock side to side, massage out the spine. Release your hands above your head, feet up to the sky. Rest here for a moment. Go ahead and lower your feet down to the mat, soles of your feet together, knees spread apart. You can take your arms out by your side. Relax here. I'm going to start winding it down a little. Take 
even sounds around you. Sink into your mat. If this is a little too uncomfortable, you can go ahead and take corpse pose. And take your feet straight down. Arms out by your side. Relax. I'm proud of you guys for coming to the mat today. I'm proud of myself for making it to the mat today. I've struggled a lot lately. All of us struggle and that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal. Just remember to always pick yourself back up. Go ahead and start to wiggle your toes and your fingertips. Slowly awaken yourself. When you're ready, roll over to your right side. dog just took my spot behind me. <laughs> Go ahead and slowly rise up to a seated position. How do you take the whole back of my back? <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope this helped you guys today. I hope it helped you get out of a small little bed or just to give a nice little stretch 
throughout the day. Maybe you didn't do any stretching today. I hope this helped you. I will see you guys in my next video. Namaste. See you.